Hey everybody, welcome back for another memory keeping plan with me. This time it's for February 6th through the 12th and I am using leftovers from a Simply MS kit that I used last year right before Halloween because we dressed up as Stranger Things characters. So that kit is called Hellfire. I ordered the extra boxes with it so I have a lot of full boxes left over and there were also just a lot of little things and functional things left over with the kit. I also brought in my Simply MS quotes that were associated with Stranger Things. I forget what the sheet is exactly called. But then also I've decided this year that unless it's like a really special week, I'm only going to order foil for kits where I'm using leftovers. That's going to be my treat for using leftovers is that I get to get underlays and maybe overlays, but mostly underlays just to fill in some of the blank space. So I got the Stranger underlays in pixie red and silver and the Stranger overlays from Planet Hannah in pixie red and that really like made using leftovers a little bit more special. I prioritized using the leftover boxes, the leftover full boxes of characters that I like. I feel like if you go back to October when I first used this kit, those are like my S tier characters and then these are like my A and B level characters or tier characters, and then the boxes that I didn't use at all are like my F tier characters. So yeah, I'm not a fan of any of the wheelers. Just not. I think Nancy needs to go away to college and just like grow up. And Mike is, I can't stand him, sorry. And Billy, people feel sorry for, but like, I personally don't because I think there's a lot of people who have bad childhoods who don't turn into like racist, horrible people. So like I don't feel bad for him. So anyway, I didn't use those three full boxes. So if you love those characters, message me on Instagram and I'll send you the, these leftover stickers because these are just, I just couldn't put the, those characters in my planner because they annoy me or frustrate me so much. So sorry not sorry but yeah these are like my the ones i used this week are like my my a and b level characters uh eddie's like s tier for me but i already used like one of the full boxes for him last year so i had this other one left over you know it's bad when dude on the on thursday is ranked higher than mike wheeler you know it's bad when you're when you rank below that guy anyway there's just my Stranger Things rant about which characters I can't stand. That was uncalled for. No one asked for it. It's fine. I used this kit though. If you're like, why are you using a Stranger Things kit in February? It's because it was my husband's birthday and my sister's birthday. And both of them are big Stranger Things fans. And I'm sure my sister will have opinions about the character opinions that I just stated. That's fine. Sound off. So they both had their birthday on Friday. So I was like... I'm just going to use this kit because that makes sense for their birthday. In the sidebar, I pulled in a couple of habit trackers for flossing and skincare, and then I used kind of like the upside down theme washi to fill in the space. Take a sip of my coffee. I did have to pull in another habit tracker from like my leftover stash just because I only had one leftover from this kit. That's fine. I found a gray one that matched pretty well. And then, like always, I'm going to do my dinner's sidebar, and I'm going to use the This Week header from the kit, because I think either I already used the dinner's header from this kit, or it didn't exist. So, This Week makes sense. I'll know based on what's written in there that it was uh, the dinner's for this week. This week we had like the best pizza we've had in a really long time. It's just a pop-up. I'm going to give a shout out to Boca Boca Pizza. You can find them on Instagram if you live in this area. Um, they just do pop-ups. They're not a restaurant or anything, but they make the best pizza. So like if you're in Orange County especially, they go to different like breweries and coffee shops and things like that. And that's where they sell their pizzas. And they're really good. So you should try it if you can. That was a recommendation from one of our friends. They like, I think texted us a day or two before and we're like, our friend's going to be making pizza here. Like, do you want to go? And we're like, uh, yeah, because <laughs> we love pizza. So now I'm alternating the underlays from Planahanna 
red and silver. I just kind of alternated those across the day. I didn't put a full box on Friday because I had nine things to mark and also the only full boxes left were my least favorite characters. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to use an extra underlay on Friday instead so it'll still be decorative, but I don't have to have Billy Hargrove in my planner. Sorry, Billy. I just don't feel sympathy for you. That's all. <laughs> oh, the actor who plays him seems like a really nice guy. It's just I don't really get the sympathy for that character. I'm like, there's so many people who have been through stuff that don't turn into terrible people. Uh, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to stop now. It's because I don't have anything to talk about because this week, other than my husband's birthday, and we had a lot of plans this week too, but other or like during the weekend, we were so tired by the end of the weekend because everyone wanted to do something, which was really nice, but we were so tired by the end of it. But other than that, I don't really have anything to talk about this week because not a lot happened during the actual week. So yeah, we celebrated my husband's birthday on Friday and kind of on Saturday as well because his friends were having a board game night and they're like, well, you should come over too because it's going to be your birthday. And then on Sunday, my husband's family wanted to go out for brunch. And by that point, we're both like, I'm so tired. So like, <laughs> we went to brunch and did not do a whole lot else. And then I just had one more underlay left over, so I just decided to put it in the sidebar. I did not have anything to put in the sidebar this week as far as, like, a half box goes, so I just didn't put anything in, and I just left the underlay. You don't always have to write in a bunch of stuff in the sidebar of your planner or fill it up. It's just, like, if you have something, put it in. If you don't, don't. That's why I'm, I'm really telling myself this. That's, you, you know this already. I definitely messed it up with these overlays like I should have put the one that I'm about to put over Jonathan's face over Chrissy's face because like it looks really weird over Jonathan's face but oh well once you put overlays down like there's really no picking them back up. I tried to like match these up nicely with like how the boxes were laid out but then also like thematically match up the overlays with the characters. It worked out okay. I think Chrissy's makes sense. I think Dude on Thursday, whose name I don't remember, uh, makes sense. I think uh, Eleven's makes sense. I put Steve with Eddie in the sidebar because everyone's like, who's Steve or who's Nancy going to end up with? And I'm like, not Steve because I'm a Steve and Eddie person. Anyway, I'm joking. I'm joking. I have a lot of opinions about Stranger Things. <laughs> Uh, as someone who almost didn't watch season four just because of how upsetting the first episode was, I, ha I have way too many opinions about Stranger Things. Okay, so I had one row of leftover glitter headers. I'm really sorry for this voiceover. It's just a total ramble of weirdness. And then I had the date covers left over, which I forgot, so I included those this time around. And then we can get into the day by day and you can stop hearing about my weird opinions of Stranger Things. So on Monday, I don't think I had any grading or lesson planning to do because we were still early in the semester. So I started my annual review portfolio. It causes me a lot of stress every year. It's due in February every year, and it causes me an immense amount of stress. And I just got it back with comments, and the comments were good. So I worried for not a lot. But yeah, I started that this day because we have to collect like all the documents. I taught new classes last year so I turned in like a lot more documents than I normally do because I basically built a whole new class last year so I wanted to show how much work I did for that so I turned in a lot of stuff but that meant organizing it in the first place so that's what I did this day I also worked out and then I was anxious this day probably because of my portfolio but also because we were trying to schedule a makeup photo shoot with our wedding photographer and with my wedding hair and makeup person and it was getting kind of tricky to like figure out what days both sets of people were available so I was just a little stressed about that so I have a Molly is anxious sticker from Eddie Bitty Sticker Co and an anxious script from Carly Plans and then I did contact my wedding hair and makeup artist um, to fig start figuring out when we could all meet up so that was good that sticker is really old it's from Oh Hello Co it's just like a set of makeup brushes and then at the end of the day, we watched Mythical Kitchen on YouTube, so I used a TV icon from Planet Hannah. 
And then on Tuesday, I marked that my husband went to work from the office. I did not have a lot to mark this week, so this took up a lot of space. I decided instead of using cars to mark that this week, I used these little Molly Loves Meetings stickers because my husband, most of his job, whether he's working from home or in person, is like having meetings with people. So I thought it would be cute to mark it that way. I don't have a lot of meetings, so I rarely get to use these stickers. Then I went to work to teach all of my classes, so I have Molly Teaching from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. Uh, I forgot to bring Advil with me this day, so towards the end of the day, my cramps were really getting to me. It's a wonder I just don't call out sick sometimes, um, even though it would have been my fault because like, I just forgot to bring Advil. But anyway, I have a Once More With Love cramps sticker, and then just came home and watched random YouTube. Tuesday was... Didn't get a lot done. Then on Wednesday, I marked again that my husband worked from the office, and then I filmed a plan with me before I started work this day, because sometimes it helps to, like, when I'm working from home, to, like, do something that I actually want to do so that I kind of rolls into getting done the work that I need to do. So anyway, I'm going to use a little Carly Plans Planner sticker, and then I graded a bunch of reading responses this day. Oh, I miss this point in the semester where, like, I don't actually have that much grading to do because they haven't turned in that many things yet. Anyway, that laptop sticker is from Plana Hannah, and then I voiced over a couple of Plan With Me's. I was still working on December at this point, so I have Molly, like, listening to headphones or listening to music from Anybody Sticker Co. And then I worked out, and then I wrapped my husband's birthday gift this evening. So I got him the Lego um, cherry blossom bonsai tree. I wanted to get him one of like the nicer Lego sets, but not like the $400 ones. Uh, so he got a nice middle ground of the Lego cherry blossom bonsai because he loves Lego. And I think it's at his office now. Yeah, because I haven't seen it since. So he put it together and then he brought it to work to have in his cubicle. So that's cute. He really liked it. So that was good. It's just his birthday really snuck up on me because we had Christmas and then we had our wedding and then suddenly it was his birthday. And I'm like, oh no, like I feel like I, and then we had Valentine's Day too. So like I wrote him like several cards in the span of like one a month because, <laughs> you know, I didn't want to skip anything just because it was all close together. So he got a lot of written words from me and a lot of presents from me. Did we do wedding presents for each other? Not really. We just did letters to each other. I was, we were both joking. It's like, I am the gift on our wedding day. Anyway, at the end of the Wednesday, we just watched some random YouTube videos on the television. Thursday, I marked with a wonton and a million coffee sticker. I think either my husband surprised me with coffee from the coffee shop or he made me coffee. I actually can't remember. That's bad. But he was working from home this day, so I woke up to coffee, which was very nice. So I just wrote in that I love you more than coffee. Then I went to work and taught all of my classes again, so I'm going to have another teacher, Molly. And then while I was in my office hour this day, I was just like doodling my new signature with my new married name. At this point, I had not even initiated the name change yet because I didn't even know if our marriage certificate had gone through yet. But I was just like playing around with uh, my new hyphenated name, seeing what it would look like when I start signing things. My signature as an adult is like so messy. So I'm trying to like get back on track since I'm changing my name. It's like, okay, let's make this signature actually look like something like my actual name now. <laughs> anyway, that sticker is a journaling sticker from Cinderella paper. Um, then I graded more reading responses after my classes and I marked with a happy blobby from Oh Hello Co that I actually had energy this day, which was really nice, really nice feeling to like get out of work and be like, I feel like I can, I can still do things. <laughs> then we went home and watched Mythical Kitchen and Game Grumps on YouTube. Friday was a busy, busy day. We got lots of things to mark. So the first thing, of course, was that it was my husband's birthday and my sister's birthday. They have the same birthday, just 10 years apart, which is so funny, every year. Uh, so that cat birthday sticker is from Fox and Cactus. So I wrote in that my husband turned 31 and my sister finally turned 21, which is wild because the first birthday I ever celebrated with my husband was his 21st birthday. We had been dating for a couple months at that point and I remember calling my sister to wish her a happy birthday because I was in Berkeley and she was back home and I was telling her that like my new boyfriend had the same birthday as her and she was turning what like 11. It was really funny. So yeah she's 
She's now the same age that we were when we were celebrating Nathan's birthday together for the first time. Then I had work to do, so I lesson planned and graded some more reading responses. I wrote my birthday card to Nathan, and then this is the day that we got all of our wedding photos back. So I have a paper shower wedding couple, and I decided to use the movie marquee from the kit because I didn't have a movie to mark, and I wanted this to be marked really special, so I did that. So yeah, we got our whole wedding album back. There will be more photos to come from the beach, and also I asked her to kind of take a second look for some more of the dance floor photos and she did that for me so that was really nice of them so more photos to come but this was like the main like curated album so that was really exciting we got a lot of photos I had to like go through and kind of curate them just a little bit more so that I wasn't looking at some duplicates and things like that but that was fine with me I'd rather have more photos and winnow them down myself than not enough photos I did laundry this day, I worked out, and then like I said, we went to a pizza pop-up, uh, it's called Boca Boca Pizza, and we went with two of our friends, our old roommates that we used to live with a few years ago until they moved away, and it was really great pizza. We both got the mushroom pizza, and it was delicious, and the, the dough was beautifully baked, it was great. So we did that with Changlin and Wendy. So I have a Sweet Ava's Paper pizza sticker for that. And then they all wanted to get Somi Somi, which is dairy-free soft serve. I was still super full from the pizza, so I didn't get anything. But we did walk over there and just chatted, and they ate their ice cream. And then they went home, and Nathan and I, I wanted to buy Nathan a drink for his birthday. So we went to a British pub. We got a couple of beers. I think I got like a pear cider because, again, I was still feeling super like full and bloated from the pizza so I just wanted something light and then Nathan got some sort of beer so that was how we ended Friday night celebrating his birthday in many different locations <laughs> with pizza and ice cream and beer like that, that's a great birthday to me and to my husband too Saturday the first thing I marked was that I found my my cat sleeping on top of my wedding dress this day so it's currently living <laughs> in a its garment bag laying flat under the bed because I had to cut off the, the hanger straps on wedding day because they would have shown because I had a sheer back on my wedding dress. So I can't hang it up right now because it'll stretch out everything. So anyway, she's decided sometimes, I've blocked it at this point, but she decided this day to sleep on top of it because she finds it very comfy. <coughs> Excuse me. Then um, my husband had to take his car to get his window repaired at Safe Light. So I went to go pick him up because the whole window was busted out. So he had to leave it there overnight. So I picked him up. And then I had a headache this day. So those stickers are all from Itty Bitty Sticker Co., by the way. I pulled stickers for a plan with me. And then we had a game night at my husband's friend's house where he, or apartment, where he lives with his boyfriend and then a couple of their other friends came over as well. Everyone had been at our wedding, so it was kind of fun to <laughs> see everyone right after that. We had just seen AJ and Matt the week before because they came over to our house. It just happened that they were planning this other game night for this weekend. So that was really fun. We were up super late and it was a lot of fun. We played a game called Camel Up, which is kind of a quirky game and I had to get the hang of it, but it's a lot of fun. I recommend it. Sunday, we went to brunch with my in-laws, so I marked that, and that was pretty much the only thing we did all day, because we were just tired at this point, because everyone, we, we just, we socialized so much. Then I marked that it was Super Bowl Sunday with a Molly football sticker from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. I wrote in Superb Owl, because I didn't actually watch the Super Bowl. I think the last time I actually sat down and watched the Super Bowl was in 2013, when the 49ers were playing. I, I'm not a football person. Totally fine if you are. But, um, like, I pay attention to the, the Super Bowls going on, but I don't really watch it unless it's a team that I really, really care about personally. And then we were able to order our wedding thank you cards this day because we had all our wedding photos back and we picked a photo where we were, it was a more traditional photo where we were, like, both smiling at the camera, but we had one of our umbrella photos. So just to, like, to thank everyone for coming out in the rain for us and also the people who sent gifts but weren't able to make it to the wedding. We wanted them to have a, an idea of what the day was like. And then watched Game Grumps on YouTube that night. So that is the finished spread. I pulled in the leftover deco. I pulled in a leftover weekend banner I had from another kit and a little bit of washi. And then I also pulled in the quote that says, if anyone asks where I am, I've left the country, which I think is a Mike Wheeler quote, which is funny because I don't like him. But it was kind of the mood of Tuesday, so I thought that'd be funny to put there.
But thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye.